My name is Lisa. I'm 22 years old and I am based in Austin, Texas, and this is Financial Audit. What do you do for a living in Austin? I am primarily a streamer. Okay, streamer on what, which platforms? Twitch, just Twitch. Twitch, okay, just Twitch? Just Twitch. And do you do any of the external platforms uh, that I've, a lot of Twitch streamers do? I've tried to, but I haven't really felt the the motivation or like the, the flame under my ass kind of pushing me to do it. So yeah. just Twitch, I have a TikTok, I have other things, yeah. but it's, I, I really only actively am putting content out onto Twitch right now. Okay, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, so what do you make right now on a monthly basis? Um, I don't really look all that much because it kind of gives me a lot of anxiety. Do you not have bills? I have bills, like I have enough money to pay my bills. I would estimate that on bad months, I make under $2,000, closer to $1,000. On good months, $3,000, maybe $4,000. Whoa, but even, whoa, hold on. Okay, $3,000 on a good month. How are we living in Austin? No offense. Like, I mean, that's still good. I think that would be fantastic because, I mean, we were talking beforehand, you're from kind of a small town in the middle of the Midwest. Yeah. Like $3,000 a month, you can stretch that pretty far yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And even when you have your low months of like 1000 bucks, I mean, we can still like survive. But, yeah. I mean, it would be hard. It would be stretching, but like... You know, up that up that's up. just How are you like living? that's just sub revenue, I guess. Like when Twitch pays me out, well, I'm yeah. getting. I'm not including like donations on top Why? of that. Why? I asked how much you make. <laughs> how much do you make? Probably closer to two thousand, three thousand on a bad month, three thousand to four thousand on a good month. So we'll aver- Well, okay. Give me an average. So think of how many bad months over a year. Think of how many good months. Average out. What's your average monthly income? Last year, I made just under 50k is this year looking similar um this year because of the long form stream i've done i've made i think 15 to 20k in the last two months but last year i also did a -a subathon and that was majority of my income that was like one third one fourth of my income so Mm -hmm. i I think this year my goal is to earn more than 50k because you always want to be earning more money than the previous year right i think that I'm going to be earning a little bit more this year. I we'll hope call that. you about four thousand dollars a month. Okay, four thousand. Just to not take assumptions. I'm glad okay. the last two months have been good, but again, yeah. you did the big push. Yeah. And can't always be doing that on mm-hmm. those platforms. So, four thousand dollars a month. And you pay rent here. Yes. You pay rent. Yes, I pay rent. Do you live roommates? Uh, so I just my lease for my old apartment is ending June twelfth. I found a sublease on Craigslist for three months so i've been living there for almost a month it'll be ending july 31st and i don't know what i'm doing after that what are you paying for that i am paying one thousand two hundred dollars for that for the past two months takes a chunk yeah march was free because they already paid for that rent but i had to pay my rent for the other apartment yeah so i paid double rent for this month and where are you going in two months i don't know well, you got to we got to start looking now. That's, that's my biggest fear is just like living, cost of living. Yeah. I don't think I can afford to live by myself. Do you have friends here? I have friends here. Cuz you've been here for about a year, right? Yes. So have we thought about yo friend, let's live together and split yeah. some rent? Yeah. I have talked to some people. Yeah, and how's <laughs> that gone? Um still haven't found a person to live with, but hopefully I will find someone before July 31st. That's coming up so quick. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um, wow. So $1,200 for rent. Let's get an idea of your financial situation. Because okay. you didn't send me that many documents, but there was also more included in our email, so I'm a bit lost right now. What do you look like today? What, what What's the picture of you financially? So financially, the only sort of loan I have, or I guess you would call it cr- credit, is a car loan. I have a car loan that I started in 2020, 8.10% APR, and my father is the co-signer, and they want me to refinance because they want to get their own car. Oh. Because they can't get another car because of my father's name on my car. (laughs) And I have 44 payments. I'm like not even halfway through. (laughs) Mm Mm-hmm. So I, I'm thinking about selling the car, but I don't know if I should, because I also don't have car insurance. Well, that's a, that's against the law. Well, I don't drive it. Ever? I haven't driven it since I haven't been having car insurance. 
because I had car insurance when I first moved here, and it was like two hundred dollars a month, and I was like, I can't pay for that, so I canceled. What the f- is going on? How'd you get here? I I got here with my car, with car insurance. So you have car insurance now? No, not anymore. How'd you get here today in my oh. place? I want to take a brief moment to thank today's video sponsor, Aura Health. Aura Health is the first AI all-in-one wellness app that offers a library of curated tracks to help you sleep, meditate, or feel motivated. They've got everything from cognitive behavioral therapy to life coaching, breath work, and even spirituality to improve your well-being and mental health. All of their content is custom tailored from hundreds of expert coaches from all around the world. As you all know, I talk about mental health a lot on this show because it is like the most important thing there is. I struggle with anxiety and I've been open with that a lot on this platform and sometimes that anxiety can interfere with my sleep. Using an app like Aura Health can really put my mind to ease and help me get over that hump into a good night's sleep. Aura Health's AI technology will continue to improve its playlist for you. The app will suggest new content and coaches you can explore to fit your routine, purpose, or progress. So, I want to thank Aura Health for helping me with my sleep. And you can get started by going to AuraHealth.io forward slash Caleb Hammer. Or simply click the link in the description below. I don't know. No, no, no. How'd you transport from your house to my place? Oh, oh, I drove my friend's car. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. They let me borrow their car. Yeah, just because just because you don't have insurance, so you just never borrow your car? I use their car a lot. Why? Because of that? Yeah. Okay, it's a weird situation. So they want you to refinance. What's your credit score? I think it's in the six, like 680. Do you have a credit karma or yeah, anything? Yeah, I, cre- I could check right Yeah, now. go ahead and pull it up. So we'll see more about that car loan. There because well. I haven't got any credit cards. Because it scares me a little bit. Like I, my parents yeah, no, didn't no, no. really teach if me. Credit cards are not for you. That is a perfect thing to recognize, and I'm glad you're not going down that path. If that's something you recognize, so yeah. No, that's 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 good. My phone undownloaded Credit Karma to save storage, so I just gotta re-download it real mm-hmm. quick. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm f***ing over just attacks me every time. It's the best part, the balls. It is, but every once in a while, I just want a nice clean. Six eighty one. 681? Okay, good. Let's take a look here. Good payment history. Credit card use, obviously we don't have any. Credit age is kind of holding you back and only having one account. That account being the car. Mm-hmm. Let's take a look. We could refinance. I don't think we're going to get you a very good interest rate, though, today with where things are. And no, you're not even halfway done yet. Mm-mm. I'm supposed to finish out paying in either 2025 or 2026. So it was like a six or seven year loan. Six. So they, co- they why'd they co-sign on this? Because you're just going to get it yourself, right? Yeah. I, I have a stubborn streak. I've definitely improved since then where it's like, if I want something, I'll do anything to get it. Even if I know it's not necessarily like a smart financial decision or just a smart What'd decision. What did you do to get this? I just was at the car dealership and I was like I really want this car and then they like took me through the whole process assuming that I was going to be like the sole proprietor yeah. and then at the end they're like yeah sorry like you're going to need a co-signer otherwise you won't be able to get the car essentially um, I sold my old well, car how'd you get your parents one. to do this they, they, you made it sound like you were like convincing them like I can get whatever I want if I put my mind to it or whatever I, I don't remember exactly I just told them, like, Dad, can you co-sign for me? I'll make all the payments. Like, it's just so I can get the car. And he was like... Like, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was chill with it. he wants to go into debt for himself. Mm -hmm. (sighs) Mm-hmm. So, let's see. Does does Credit Karma (laughs) want to give you a better rate? Oh, I didn't know that they had that feature. Or not... not, not, Well, it might not be a better rate, but I'm trying to see. Just because my monthly car payment is... Almost three hundred dollars a month, and that's like a huge yeah, chunk of money. Too. Yeah, it is because I mean, yeah, yeah, you don't bring in a lot for the area. That's the hard part. Mm-hmm. Like four thousand dollars a month is nothing to complain about for sure, but it's just that a lot of my money is automatically eaten up. So, so basically, it, it doesn't feel weird. like forty four thousand yeah. dollars. I don't know. I think you're going to be minimum around a similar interest rate that you're at now, but I think you might be above that ten percent, twelve percent range. 
Okay. I really do. Being under 700 with where interest rates are today. Not in a good spot, I'm assuming. That's interesting. We, let's get a full picture of your financial situation. We'll loop back to this. Okay. I'm glad this is your only debt. Yeah, I just didn't want to take on a bunch of debt because I knew that there was a chance, a very good chance that it would just kind of be forgotten about because I tend to not be a very organized person. So it's like, even though I could very realistically get a credit card and spend it on like gas and then pay that back, mm -hmm. there's a fear of just like forgetting one month and then I don't really know anything about credit. So I don't want to get credit cards until I know what yeah. I'm getting into. That's, yeah. Because yeah. I've heard horror stories of people on your show even, or just mm -hmm. in general, having like 20K in debt. And it's like, that is very scary. And if you don't want to be scared, you should hit the subscribe button. People are really trying to get to 500,000 subscribers. We might be there by the time this video posts. I don't know, but we're wow. so close. So close. That's crazy. It is crazy. Everyone's awesome. So thank you <laughs> for that. Um, one thing you could do. Uh, it's a company I partner with. Uh -huh. uh, it's a Fizz card. I don't know if you've heard me talk about them. It's yeah. geared more towards college students, but you're in the younger part, so the perks might help. It's like it acts as a credit card, but it's more of a debit card type of situation. It helps build credit score, and it helps you within certain spending categories, you oh. know, not go over, essentially. It helps you manage your thing better, and that's where I recommend it to specific people who are, they like using credit cards, but they're bad at credit cards, or you, you're afraid of credit cards, maybe this is something you could go into, because this will help your credit score okay. diversify. So take a look at that. I recommend it. That, that could be something that you look at doing. So in your PayPal, this is where you get paid into from Twitch? Yes. Uh, like and through you're getting donations. a lot of fees getting taken out. Really? You don't know that? No. Dude, every time you get like $200 put in, you get a $7.47 fee. Oh. Dude, you're getting fee. You're just losing so much money on fees. What the you, you need to use like, uh, well, I mean, every, every service is going to have a fee. I would just shop around for the best fee, mm. the lowest fee. Yeah, I've used PayPal since the day I started. Let me get, let me see what they're... I also use um, SE Pay, which is like through Stream Elements, because I didn't know until like six months ago about that people who had debit cards couldn't donate. It was only credit cards. Mm. So now I have SE Pay as well. I think they've taken like an 11% fee. Oof. I mean, they charged you almost a dollar for six dollars that came in. So. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like that. Wow. Because that's like you're getting taxed and then you're actually going to get taxed, oh, so wow. which we'll talk about. So in here, you also pay for Discord, which makes sense as a business expense. I assume you have Discord for your peeps. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's good. Paddle.com? What's this? Paddle.com? Mm hmm Pre-approved payment, Paddle.com. I feel like it was probably a service I paid for for my Twitch stream that was a monthly renewal that I did. Yeah, six bucks. And I just forgot about and you pay through Spotify through this. Yes. Which is interesting. Yeah, I don't know why I have it set up that way. Well, because are you using this to try to hopefully... So, okay, your business expenses come through here, right? Like when I'm... Do you have separate accounts for businesses and personal? No. Okay, we got to start thinking about that. <laughs> That's going to be hard. And Canva? Canva? Oh, Canva. That's like a... Oh, what? <laughs> That's a that's like a photo editing like. Oh yeah, I've heard. I don't I don't remember. Hundred well, twenty bucks. I'd make sure that's not reoccurring. Yeah. And then PayPal went out to something one hundred seventeen, and more Canva another hundred twenty dollars. So, twice, twice hundred twenty dollars, gone. That uh, that's like, what they took away there. What they took away there is already 6% of your income for the month. Okay. 6% yeah. of your income, and you didn't even know about it. Nope. Oh, no. It's more like 8% because uh, Canva, $120. Oh, three gone times. Again. Wonderful. Three times. Three times. Gone, killed, taken away. And then, of course, you transferred money into your personal checking. Mm -hmm. What's your balance in the PayPal? Um, when I checked yesterday, it was a little bit shy of $1,800 that was currently sitting in there. Okay. Oh, this is a savings account. We'll look at that in a second. Wait, is it? Yes. Student checking. We have student checking. Did you go to college? I did go to college for... I was looking at my Instagram yesterday. This is why I never use my Instagram. Uh, everyone had graduated from college, and I dropped out uh, like a year or two Did ago. Did you borrow money to go to school? No, because my father 
when before I was born, he was like a construction worker, like a mm-hmm. miner, like just a jack of all trades, physical labor. Um, and he was like in a mine shaft. The ceiling wasn't secured, and a big boulder fell on him Jeez. and disabled him. Oh, and wow. he settled for like about a million dollars, which my mom. Why always, is he borrowing to get a car? Sorry, I don't know. Go he ahead. he loves cars. It's like his. That's it's, awesome. Why is he borrowing to get a car? <laughs> I don't know. Um, he. He settled for a million dollars. My mom is mad that he didn't go to court and get more money because he could have gotten more money. And he took that a million dollars, split it four ways. One fourth of that went towards him for him to get like a motorcycle and just money for himself because whatever. And then he has three children. So that other money he put into a, I forget the name, but it's essentially a fund where you can't touch it. Until you go to college, otherwise yeah. you're taxed on yes, it. Yes, yes, absolutely. So that was set up. Yes. Okay, perfect. So I don't have any college debt. Good, thankfully. I'm glad. You dropped out, but I'm glad at least you don't have any loans attached to that stuff. Mm-hmm. So we have a car situation we're trying to figure out. We don't make much money. Do you have any, okay, do you have anything invested? Is anything invested? When I graduated high school, I was given $500 by like my family, and I put that into a... Not stocks, but like the safer thing where bonds. Bonds. That's mm, it's it's like six hundred dollars now. That's it. Yeah. So that's your saving. That's your investing. Yeah, I want to invest. Don't know yeah. how to invest. So we're not making much for the area, specifically for the area, because I know fifty thousand dollars. I mean, that's actually uh, uh, pretty. That's a that's a lot better than a lot of people do. Yeah. But for the area, it's a bit of a struggle because Austin's much more expensive. Yeah. Um, but in here, we're doing DoorDash, Nintendo, Amazon, Amazon, uh, Apple Bills, and Blue Genie AR, and Canva, again with the Canva, and Amazon, and Amazon, and Amazon, Gulf Shores, Amazon. Now, there's a couple I'm confused. Love Me Times? Dude, don't give me another face. This is one hundred seventy-six dollars. You have to know where your money's going. Love me time. Can I Google like? I'm gonna Google. I'm, it. I want to look up what L-U- that is. L U V me times. Love me, t- bro. Watch it be something. It sounds sus. Purses. I haven't. Oh, 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 oh! That was when I was on a vacation at a music festival, and. You think you can afford that right now? No. Okay. Uh, and Kefutsia, 15 bucks, I don't know. G's Louise. Yeah, that was all in location. Alabama. And Amazon. And Cousins Main Lobster. And Peepo Stream, DoorDash. <laughs> what was what? P- Peepo Stream is just like a TTS thing. What's TTS? Like uh, if someone is in your stream and they want to like talk to you with a voice, like an AI generated voice, like they could. Regime. You paid for this. Yeah. Okay. Amazon, Adobe, which I guess for your work, that's okay. Amazon, Amazon, Houndstooth, Coffee, and Twitch, and Paddle. Oh, no, no, The Twitch came in. Sorry. Good. That was good money coming in. And the Paddle, paddle and DoorDash, and Live D Singapore, and Service Charge, and a $1,590 Airbnb. You can't afford that. You can barely, you you said, I'm not paying a couple hundred dollars in car insurance because I can't afford that on a monthly basis. And then you go and you pay $1,600. So I wanted to get you my, my Venmo history, but it didn't seem they had like a printable way to do that. I covered the, the cost of the initial fee because none of my friends wanted to, and then they all Venmoed me. How much did you pay? I paid after everyone gave me their money for the half, like two or three hundred dollars for the Airbnb. And you say you can't afford that for car insurance? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Discovery Plus. If we're having Discovery Plus out of all services, come on. What? How much does it say it costs? Eight bucks, essentially. Damn. And uh, some more Google payments and Houndtooth Coffee <laughs> and transferring two thousand dollars to what I think is savings. So there's a savings account. I want to take a look at this. Yeah, that was something I really wanted to bring up with you. So it's a little difficult for me to read. We took out 2500 put in 10000 took out 2000 Where are we at today? What's this sitting at? Um, let me check. It should be about 11000 I had to take out two or $3,000 to cover like my rent and all that. So 
And we shouldn't be on going on vacation. We shouldn't be eating out. We shouldn't be getting coffee if we're taking from savings mm-hmm. to pay for rent. Um, it is at $12,000.121. So we cannot be taking out money from savings. If you're doing the other bullshit, it doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. Savings needs to be an emergency fund for emergencies only, like a car breaking. Yeah. Or something. Now, I think there's some cool, unique things we might be able to do here, which is okay. exciting. Exciting. Sometimes we don't have the most optimistic, but I think we could have some optimism right now. Okay. But first, that savings, what is that savings to you? What is that savings even to you? What is it? So, last year, I didn't touch my savings at all until I paid for my taxes, which was about $4,000. Good. This year, I took out from my savings to... Um, spend money on my subathon I spent like two or three thousand dollars to get things for it to make it like exciting and although I took out those two or three thousand dollars for the rent it was a unique situation because my my roommate my current roommate my temporary roommate hadn't sent me money yet and so now that she has sent me her half I am putting that money back into my savings my goal is never to touch it unless it is the only option and usually that works out so it's it's an emergency fund for me and and tax fund and tax so fund. you did pay taxes last year yes and are you setting aside a certain amount of money that's coming in on a monthly basis for taxes no okay what i would recommend for your income is probably about 25 percent, and i'm sure okay. there's stuff we can expense uh or uh write off right off from your taxes do you sit down with the tax person and do it or do you just do like i online i prep? just do it myself i've never had someone do it for me eventually because you're your own business you might be able to save more by sitting a couple hundred bucks by sitting down with someone yeah um would you also recommend because i'm not an llc i've never paid to be an i LLC. would form an llc use okay. it as a pass through get a business account Okay. And then you can help track things there, and it'll be much easier. You spent five. You spent six hundred dollars going out to eat mm-hmm. and all that stuff. You know, if we're taking from savings to pay for stuff, and we're spending six hundred dollars eating out, also known as fifteen percent of your income. Fifteen percent of your income went to eating out. Yeah. And even if you're in a perfect situation, which you're not, because you have car loans and uh, a car loan that we need to figure out. You can only spend 20% of your income in a traditional budget on fun. And already you spent 15 on going out to eat. And then there was also travel and stuff. Mm-hmm. The Airbnb. And then you went to... You spent a lot on veterinary stuff, so... Yeah. Um, I have a cat originally that I got off of Facebook Marketplace. And then as I was moving out of my old apartment, I found a stray cat, took him in, and I've spent... Probably one or two thousand dollars on his medical bills, mm-hmm. which I don't even think I can keep him because he has feline leukemia. I don't know if you ever heard of that. Can but you treat it? No, it's not treatable. It's essentially like cat AIDS, and he could give it to my other cat. I would not have him then. No, but I I just don't know what to do with him because I don't know if anyone wants contact local local services. Get, yeah, get on like three one one. See what options there are. Contact Austin Pets Alive or uh, Austin Animal Shelter. Mm-hmm. See what there are. Um, it might be a sad end of that story. Yeah, I, I, if he. But I do not want your other cat to exactly. get sick. Exactly. Like, I don't want my other cat to get sick, but Are I Are they also... in the same room right now? No, no, they don't live together. I keep them oh, separate. Oh, very good. They live together, but they don't interact. I also spend a good amount of money on subscriptions and stuff as well, so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, this car situation, what is the car year? Miles? It's a 2018 Jeep Renegade. Um, I don't have the miles off the top of my head. I think it's like about 20,000 miles, 30,000 miles. It doesn't have like a lot of miles on it. No, it doesn't. So, and it has no major problems. The only problem was recent where a rock hit the windshield and it cracked and that's it. So so you might have to do a windshield replacement, but eventually. Yeah. Well, actually, is it illegal to drive with a cracked windshield? I I don't know. Someone told me that it's care. fine until, like, it spreads. Right now, it's pretty... No, I'm just trying to think of legally for you driving. <laughs> yeah. you back out there. Do you have health insurance? You're on your parents? No. Why aren't you on your parents? I, as I was getting ready to move to Austin, because um, I got a U-Haul and, like, physically drove all the way down here, mm-hmm. they were essentially telling me, like, oh, by the way, 
if you don't go to school and you don't live in Wisconsin, you can't be on, on, on our health insurance plan. What's the obsession with going to school? Because you're actually like building a business and you're making income that you're living off of. Yeah. They, they, my mom didn't graduate high school. My bet, my dad barely graduated high school. And so I think for them, it's like vicariously living, like wanting a better life for me and thinking that college is that avenue. going to endless school. Mm-hmm. Well, the interest rate on the car is... N- oh, wait. No, they're talking about this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the obsession with school, but they... A lot of people are, are kind of obsessed with it. It just sucks that they took you off their health insurance for that. Well, they have state health insurance, so I don't think they had a choice whether or not they could take me off. And it was only prolonged due to COVID because I wasn't going to school, so they were going to take me off anyways. Well, I guess I... State health insurance, like it's through. Like it's. Do they through, work from this. Uh, no, because my my father's disabled, so he doesn't work at all. He's not allowed to work, otherwise he won't get disability. And yeah. my mother has always just been like a waitress, so they both have state health insurance for for like my knowledge. I guess I'm not sure on the legalities on that, but with the AC, with the Affordable Health Care Act, um, you can stay on parents until 26. That's so, what I thought. Well, yeah. So I, I'm not 100 percent sure. Maybe it was their choice. Maybe it wasn't. But yeah. They make you're not it sound on health, like it wasn't. You're not on health insurance, and that's risky. Very risky. You don't have car insurance, and you're not driving your car. Mm-hmm. Do you even want to? Do you want this car? I, I do want the car, but... What's the point of owning it and paying on it if you never use it? That's what everyone tells me. Uh-huh. Um, my biggest thing is I definitely have gone back and forth on selling the car, but I, I do think that I would need a car at some For point. For what? Um, I don't plan on staying in Austin. I do have to make trips like to north austin or like to the grocery store and it does kind of suck to rely on other people or to like get an uber or whatnot so it's nice to have the convenience of and the freedom of having a car yeah um why aren't you staying in austin i i I am staying in austin for the time being i just i don't really want to place my roots in one place like i want to travel if possible i want to see other cities you can't afford not now. I definitely can't it's afford it. It's going to be a while. You haven't even started retirement. You have $600. You need to set yourself up for success before you even consider okay. that. Or else you're just going to be f- Yeah. You're going to be forced to. And it's going to be hard turning a Twitch. Ex- uh, like, well, the reality is we all have a limited timeline on our social media presence before the income dries up. So you need yeah. to prepare yourself. And then this experience doesn't really turn into other jobs very well. So you're like dying on the Walmart floor if you do not start saving up now for retirement. Because we get you to be a millionaire by retirement easily. Okay. Easily right now. But not if you just go spend it all on travel. Not if you get the Airbnb. Not if you do all the that you're doing right now. Okay. But either way, with the car, it's $11,000 to pay off. Like, I'm not necessarily attached to the car. I could always get a cheaper car, a used car. Um, But it definitely does feel like I'm bleeding a little bit right now because I have this payment on this car that I can't use. That's just sitting there. Well, the interest rate sucks and your parents want you off it. So this is what we're going to do. Rent. $1,200 for the time being. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it better not go up. (laughs) I would be very upset. What are you paying for utilities and all that stuff? Um, it's it's usually an average of seventy to hundred dollars a month, though. What about rent? What do you mean, like for rent? No, rent. <laughs> what about um? You do have renters insurance, right? Get renters insurance, dude. It's like fifteen dollars. I month. had it for my other apartment. Well, get it now. I forgot. I until you said that, I was like, oh, shit. that's what I've been forgetting. Renters insurance. What about it's a sublease? So I don't know, like. What about internet? Yeah, you still need it. Okay, okay. In internet, um, flat rate, forty dollars a month, high speed internet through Ascend. I think it's called Astound. Yeah, some weird rebranding of a company. Okay, and the car payment is two ninety two. You don't pay for gas, right? Do you fill up your friend's gas? Sometimes, yeah. So like, what do you think? What do you allocate to that a month? Do you think fifty? I, I think like. Less than 50 or 50. We'll do 50. No health insurance, no car insurance, rent, utilities, internet. I feel like I'm missing something. You have business expenses. The the subscriptions that you pay for at the Adobe and everything, we're going to call that at about $200. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 
And we'll do that because that's your livelihood. So then I'm going to give you $300 for groceries on a monthly basis and $100 for toilet paper, makeup, all that, which sucks. Give me off brand, cheap crap. I don't give a shit. 100 for what? Like for anything else you need. Oh, anything else. Okay. So makeup, toilet paper. Got it. Tissues. I usually buy in bulk. Last time I bought toilet paper, it last. I literally. Well, this bought- is makeup and everything too, and shampoo and all that good oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. We're going cheap. We're going cheap. So let's add all that up. $2,282 to survive. Okay. What you are going to do is save, well, this, this month, for, you're following that budget. You don't spend any money outside of that budget. Mm-hmm. Get, get people, do you have a boyfriend? No. Go on dates, get people to buy you food if you want food. <laughs> that seems so scummy, though. Well, I had a friend, enjoy them. I had a friend who told me that every time she goes out to a bar, she never pays for her own drinks. And I was like, what Yeah, the hell? live that life. Do it. <laughs> Either way, the, the thing is, all I'm saying is, do this. And then, if you want to spend money, get someone else to buy it. Just let them know your situation. If they're wa- if they're friends who want to go out, you're like, I'm poor yeah. because I'm trying to set myself up for success. I can't go out, and then they might offer. Don't ask. I don't know. Whatever. You know your situation. Just this is what you spend. Everything else, free fun or covered by someone else. Okay. Two thousand two hundred eighty-two dollars. This by the end of this month. I want to see your savings account be at least $13,282. Okay. $13,282. You then withdraw $11,000 of it. Oh, okay. This is going to hurt. <laughs> Wait. No, let's think about taxes. What have you made this year so far? I think like about thirty k. I haven't done the math necessarily. So we're going to say you're going to make 50000 Okay. Need to have about twelve thousand five hundred saved up for taxes. So at this point, we will have wanted you to have t- six thousand two hundred fifty, and I don't want you to have to play catch up on taxes. That's not a game. The IRS is not someone we want to. F- Mm-mm. Okay. So what I'm instead going to have you do, because you should in this budget, on an average, some months will be a little less, some months will be a little more. You should be able to save a thousand seven hundred dollars a month. Okay. Because you're not spending money on anything else on the budget. <laughs> so, from now, in four and a half months, you should have, in four and a half months, four and a half months, you should have $19,532 in there. Oh, wow. Of that, you pull out $11,000 and pay off the car. Oh, okay. Yep, it's done. It's paid off. You fully own it. Fully own it. Okay. Boom. That's taken care of. Have a conversation with your parents. Do they want to do this like right now, right now, right now? I mean, now? my mom will be like, hey, Lisa, how are you? I'll be like, I'm good. She's like, do you need help with anything? I'll be like, yeah. Could you like maybe send me $200 for like groceries or something? What the f- shouldn't be asking for that sh- anyway? You have the money. No, like Go ahead, this, this is a Sorry. theoretical conversation where she will sometimes know. call me up and essentially be like, oh, I'll do something nice for you if like you refinance your car. How long have they been asking for that? Um... Probably since I moved, so like almost two years. A year? Okay. We're having a conversation later today. You're calling them. I'm on a plan now. Okay. Mom, dad, I'm on a plan now. In, what was it, four and a half months? I will pay off the car in cash because I will have one month emergency fund fully saved up and what is necessary for the amount of taxes that I've earned so far saved up. Okay. I'm doing it safely. I'm budgeting, not spending money on fun. Everything's going to rent, utilities, internet, Car payment, gas uh, for the cars that you use. Yeah. Business, food, and toilet paper. I'm not spending a cent outside of those things. So, will you work with me and allow me to have an extra four and a half months? Yeah. And then you pay it off. You fully own it. You get the title. He's off it because the loan's done. And start car insurance on it. Yeah. So you can just use it whenever. That money that I take for the car payment will just become the car insurance. It should be money. a little less because there's not leverage against the car anyway. So yeah. it should be fine. Of course, you're younger. so. But either way, put that in your budget. It'll take out the car payment from your budget. What I need you to do from there, we're not having fun yet. That costs money. 
Not yet. 1700 I need you with where car insurance will probably be. I don't know what the rent situation is going to look like, but I need you to get to 13500 For savings? Yeah. Okay. So you'll already have one month in there. Now that car insurance is starting up, it should be about six and a half months until you have that. So like about so a year. So it's about 10 months. Yeah. yeah. 10 months. And this is done. I think you can do that for 10 months. I mean... I feel like... Okay. I feel like this is the easy... Sorry, I asked you a question and then I cut no, you off. Okay. But what's immediately sticking out to me is I feel like this is the easiest situation anyone can get out to set them up for the success. But I'm not picking up signals right now that you give a shit enough to actually do this for 10 months because you're like, I want to go travel. I don't know how I'm going to live in Austin. And you're doing all that stuff. And like, mom, give me. Yeah, yeah, for some reason. (laughs) And uh, like, mom's getting $200 for groceries and blah, 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 blah. And you're spending all that bullshit that we already saw. But then again, on the other side of things, you have saved up a good amount of money. Yeah. So maybe not. You tell me, are you actually able to not go out, spend all and do crap for 10 months? I don't even necessarily like drinking or going out. It's only really something I do because that's like the easiest way to meet up with people and feel like I'm being social and like not a shut in. But I think that's something that really, because this gives me a lot of stress, like all of this thinking about it. I don't want this to be on my mind all the time like oh my god what am I gonna do freak out panic always in the back of your head like I want to feel confident about my finances about my future because twitch streaming like you said can very easily become a dead end you can very easily lose your income or it can't really take like there's no guarantee that this will continue for who knows how long Mm -hmm. and so I definitely want to be safe and secure with where I am so I'm not like ah I'm, I'm content with staying at home, playing League of Legends, reading a book, eating a bagel with cream cheese from H-E-B, cheap aisle, done it before. I think that for it's me... It's only 10 months, too. Yeah, it's only 10 months. And I grew up, like, in a situation where I didn't have a lot of money. My family didn't have a lot of money. And I think, so I think, like, having all this money and seeing that, like, I have the ability to do these fun things, these expensive things, has been exciting for me. But it's not like I'm not used to cutting back or having less so realistically i think it's like you said not very hard it's more so like a mindset a mentality well here's the exciting thing oh. after that if we budget in a way for you to invest fifty five thousand within a certain amount of time mm-hmm. uh hopefully within a few years mm-hmm. we can get you to pretty much, if the stock market averages what it's averaged since the history, $2 million by the time you're 60. Oh, wow. We'll be saved up for retirement, a $1 million. A $1 million will be worth less. It'll be worth probably around, uh, well, after inflation, it'll probably be more like $400,000 in today's money. What? It's a long time from now. And like the U.S. dollar is kind of... Going down or what? Well, what? they they shoot for an average inflation of like two percent, but I'm giving it an average of like three four percent, uh-huh. just based on history, historical performances. So, yeah, that's insane. A million to four hundred thousand ish. It's a long time. Yeah, a lot can happen. I mean, and there's a lot. Of, there's a lot that would change as well. That's assuming that after you hit fifty five thousand, is that what the number I said? Oh yeah, after after you hit fifty five thousand you just don't invest again for the rest of your life. Which would so, probably not be the case. That'd be terrible. Yeah. But I'm just saying, if we can get you to the place because, you know, who knows how long these kind of careers last, mm-hmm. if we can get you to the place where you can invest like that as quick as you can, that's incredible. And I think you can do that in three years if you set if you invest thirty three percent of your income. Okay. So what we do from there is we try to keep your needs at under 55% and then 33% towards investing. And then the rest goes to wants. You can have wants again. We can travel. We can do all those things. Okay. Well budgeted in there, wants or needs never go above 50%, including rent and food and all this stuff. And you minimum invest 33%. For a few years, set you up for success in the future, mm-hmm. and then we just like continue that. Like if after three years you've done that, and maybe your income skyrockets anyway because your your Twitch just takes off or something, yeah, which would be great. 
you know, you're investing even more and more and you get to that point where you're set up for success even better. And at that point, maybe you cut down 50, 30, 20, where you do 50% on needs, 30% on wants, 20% on investing for the rest of your life. And then you're pretty much guaranteed as long as like the country doesn't collapse (laughs) to be a millionaire by the time you retire, which is great. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what my path would be for you forward. But first again, we save up what's needed for a one month emergency fund, what's needed for taxes and what's needed to pay off the car. And then you cut a check, you pay off the car and then you save up for the full six month emergency fund. And then you start saving up for, you start doing that investing by maxing out a Roth IRA. You'll open one super easy, do fidelity. I don't care. It's fantastic. And if you want to keep building your credit score, you could use that company I partner with Fizz that will help with different things down the road. Like, cause you're going to pay off your car, meaning you're not going to have any activity on your credit. Exactly. So that is something that could also help, uh, because if you want to get a mortgage down the road or anything like that as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm relatively optimistic here. You just buckle down for 10 months and the rest of your life is set up. Are you not usually optimistic? Well, there's... Okay. It's not that I'm not usually optimistic because a lot of people have a fire lit under their butt right after this. (laughs) Your situation is just much more simple and manageable that you really don't have to do much and you're going to be okay. Okay. But you actually have to do it. Yeah. So... Will you do it? Find out. We'll see. Let's do a follow up in uh, in ten months. Oh, okay. You, you should do have follow ups. Yeah, I do, and you should have a fully funded emergency fund in ten months, and your car should be paid off. Okay. Yeah. And you will then we can talk about investing and all this stuff, like what your life looks like going forward. But follow the budget I laid out. Get your rent to go down this place you move to next. Yeah. By you know. Uh, Looking for any roommates if anyone's out there there you go yeah there you go hit me up you can sleep in my closet is it big um i don't know but i'll charge you two thousand dollars a month oh okay well that's definitely going up then so maybe not <laughs> uh okay either way what do you think what, what does the next year look like for you mm, tell me what you're gonna do realistically knowing yourself knowing myself i think i will cut back because i've done it in the past like it used to be that all the income i made when I still lived at college or lived with my parents, I would spend literally all of it, had no savings, none of it. Um, I would say that in the past few years, it has slowly improved. And I think that I'm not done improving. So I don't think that necessarily I'm going to exactly hit those numbers, but I think that I've already started even before coming on this show, like cooking my own meals. Cause I have a functioning kitchen now. In the past, this table, My kitchen was smaller than this table. I had this much space to prep on, and it was just very sad kitchen. Didn't really motivate you to cook or made it hard to cook. Now I have like a full-size kitchen that makes it fun to cook. I made like broccoli cheddar soup and a pumpkin pie, (laughs) and it was really nice. Broccoli cheddar soup and you didn't bring me any? I love that shit. I have an entire pot full, but it's been sitting in my fridge for four days, so Mm. I'm really bad with leftover food. But I I I think I can realistically do this. Maybe not exactly to a T, but I think that there is a fire under my ass, like you said. Yeah, it's it's burning, actually. Sounds painful. (laughs) Yeah. For Lisa, I think her situation is actually going to be pretty okay in life as she just buckles down now. Only 10 months and then maybe a few years of heavy investing because she's in her early 20s and compound growth is just going to make her investment portfolio amazing by the time she retires. She could be set up for success if she just follows what we talked about today. For her Hammer financial score, I wanted to give her more than a 2 out of 10 on her spending, but saying she can't afford car insurance but spending hundreds of dollars, you know, going out to eat hundreds of dollars on the Airbnb, can't give for more than a two out of 10 on that. Debt, certainly not even close to the worst we've seen, five out of 10. Retirement, nothing there yet, uh, zero out of 10. Emergency fund, it was really good though. A lot of it's gonna go towards the car and some of it's gonna go to taxes as well. Where it's at right now is actually halfway decent. Seven out of 10. Real estate, she's not a part of that conversation yet, but I think she could be in the next decade. Zero out of 10. Aggregates down for Lisa, three out of 10. Hammer financial score, I think within 10 months, it'll be a five out of 10. Within a few years, it'll be six, seven out of 10. If you want a free five dollars feel free to sign up for acorns using my link in the description below you get a free five dollars i get a free five dollars and it's a good place to invest as well like i do don't forget to follow my instagram and twitter